Okay, I'm going to show you how to use your cell phone without poisonous and toxic RF microwave radiation. This phone here, as well as the one we're filming with, are on airplane mode. So we're going to show you here two different meters measuring the same thing, the levels of RF radiation. And we're at very low levels. We're at about 6 millivolts per meter, below 10 the entire time on both meters here. And we're going to go ahead and switch off airplane mode on the phone. And you'll see here, go to settings, and we simply just switch off airplane mode. And we jump up to several thousand millivolts per meter. And we'll continue to get radiation every time we go on Google, if we go to Facebook. Anything we do that requires data transfer, this levels of RF are going to go off the chart and affect you and your family and everyone near you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on airplane mode and the levels will go back down. What I have here is a simple Ethernet to Apple iPhone or iPad adapter and this just goes into a Wi-Fi router, a Wi-Fi router that I bought from the store that does not emit radiation and we can plug it in to the phone and you can see here between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth once we plug that in we get the Ethernet cable pops up and we just check that we have an address and now we are online and we'll just use this acousticom meter to show you we can go to Google now it'll say turn off airplane mode we press that and we can look anything up we have really fast connection Go to Facebook, use our social platforms here without any harmful RF radiation. And this is good for many reasons. This is good for us health-wise, but it's also good for the environment because your cell phone can use as much energy every year as your refrigerator. So we're here in California. They have all sorts of crazy regulations on energy-efficient energy homes. Well, if people were smart, they would require that all homes be built with compatibility for Ethernet and wired connections to all our laptops and cell phones and tablets and the like. Another thing I want to talk about is 5G and small cell phone towers. People need to realize this is just going off a normal cable wire, a normal cop copper cable wire. Fiber optics is the fastest type of connection we can possibly have, the wired connection. And every single small cell phone tower requires a fiber optic cable connection. And so what we need to do is demand as consumers that they bring that fiber a little bit further all the way to the house or to the premise. That way we could have faster connection than 5G, 10 times faster than any 5G uh, cell phone tower with a wired connection and it's also much, much more energy efficient. This phone needs to put off radiation at a power level to go through our walls miles down to the nearest cell phone tower in order to communicate and share data. So when we have wired connection, it is so much better for the environment, it's faster, and it's a lot safer for us. It's also more secure in terms of hacking. So anyhow, kind of went off on a tangent, but this is just a simple way I can sit back on my couch, I can use the internet, I'm going to use the phone that the video is being taken on, plug it in, I can share it on social media without having to use RF radiation. It's a win-win and this is something that people as consumers need to be demanding from their cable company, from their phone company, from your legislators. We want wired connection, wired compatibility in our houses and we want to bring fiber optic to the premise. That's really the key. The fiber optic cable is going 90% of the way to the small cell. We need to bring a little bit further into the house or into the business and we can have faster communication, faster commerce, great for, great for the economy, not so great for self-driving cars and AI, but that's not necessarily a world that's going to benefit human beings. It's going to benefit corporations and cheap labor. We want to have uh, good, safe technology.